Republican nominee for Maryland Governor Dan Cox met us in front of the U.S. Supreme Court building. Cox is a Maryland state delegate representing parts of Frederick and Carroll counties. He's also an attorney specializing in constitutional law. What do you think should be the number one priority for the next governor of Maryland? We are focused on lowering taxes, making sure our property tax uh, assessment valuation is lowered. Our property tax values have uh, begun to price out affordable housing for folks across Maryland because rents are based upon uh, what the you know the landlord is taxed. So when taxes went up 34 percent this year, that's going to hurt everyone. What are your thoughts right now on the current business tax situation in Maryland and also business tax incentives in the state? When you have a business tax rate that is pricing businesses out, they can go across the river, the Potomac to Virginia and have a 6.1 percent rate. Or they can go to Delaware and have a 5.5 percent rate. That's going to create a disincentive for them to come here. Tell us what you would do as governor of Maryland to reduce road congestion. I'm a all the above transportation approach. I think that we need to expand that. I do not want to waste money with the, uh, the continued purple line waste. We also asked Cox about his take on a local plan to reduce juvenile crime. What are your thoughts on curfews on minors, just like what Prince George's County is doing right now? I am opposed to uh, addressing this simply by saying a, a curfew is how you address it. That's not how you address the problem of catching the criminals. We will arrest them. So what's the bigger number? When it comes to education, Cox says he wants to move state funding from the public schools and allow parents to send their children to independent charter schools he'd allow to open up. When a parent says, okay, here's $7,500 into an education account, and we can decide where that child goes to school. We also address this past comments in support of former President Donald Trump's January 6th rally. We're here, of course, in front of this U.S. Supreme Court, but the U.S. Capitol is right over here, too. Do you have any regrets about what happened on January 6th? Well, I don't need to have regrets when I wasn't there. I mean, I was at the White House hearing the president, took my seven children. But as, as to uh, concerns and, and being very uh, upset, and angry about what happened at the Capitol on January 6th? Yes, absolutely, it was wrong. On January 6th, Cox also called former Vice President Mike Pence a traitor on Twitter. Do you still believe Vice President Mike Pence is a traitor? Yeah, you know, that was in, in a concern as I was leaving on a bus, had no idea the gravity of the situation, and I absolutely think that Mike Pence is a wonderful man. At the Supreme Court, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.